Our next storyteller tonight is the founder of God Swap, which is an event where you have conversations about your personal God. Um, she tends to like to be behind the scenes, and it took a little coercing, but I know she has amazing stories, and I'm really glad that she's on the stage tonight. Give a big welcome to Rebecca. Hi there. Ooh, the light is nice. I don't get to see anybody. It's like an illusion. So I feel like thinking about just my experience as being butch, uh, the one thing that stands out to me is it's like women seem to come out of nowhere <laughs> and they totally want to do me. <laughs> and I don't really know why that happens specifically. I've never really questioned it too much because it's a little awesome and I'm just like, all right, cool, let's go. And um, it can happen in some of the most inappropriate places, like work, in a suit, in a nice hotel. They're uh, working for a pharmaceutical company, is our client today. And they have enough money that rather than call if there's a problem, they're going to hire me to sit in the room. So I can be there in a moment's notice to fix the problem. So I'm just sitting there. I'm setting up in the morning. There's this really nice lady. She's got her power suit on. She hands me something in the morning and she uses both hands, looks me really solidly in the eyes and smiles super big. And I'm like, oh wow, you're nice. <laughs> Wander off doing my job and I'm sitting in the back in my little chair ready for anything to happen. Because I'm working and I'm a professional. <laughs> so, uh, there's this nice lady sitting at the table in the back, and she keeps staring at me. I'm like, oh, you're real nice. <laughs> and there's this thing that women do. Uh, it's very specific. They look at you, look down, look back at you, and then look to the side and smile. It's like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I just, like, I heard about it. I'd never really seen it before. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, my God, I'm totally in there. Yeah. And I try to keep my cool because I have to be professional in my suit in the back of the room in case anything happens. But she keeps all morning, she's like crossing and uncrossing her legs unnecessarily high so that I can see her knee over the top of the table. All of a sudden I'm wearing like maybe a little too many layers, but it's cool. I'm a professional, it's going to be fine. Uh, during lunch, and I'm flirting with her and talking to her, and she's like, oh, Lila, I'd love to hang out with you and your friends, and we're only in here for a little while, but da -da -da -da, what are you doing? <laughs> and I have to thank Adrian and Deidre for creating Booty, because I'm not actually very clever most of the time, but when I said, yeah, we can go to Booty, she thought it was a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> and there's this classy lady from New York who thinks I'm clever now, and I'm like, yeah, I'm so in there. And she does the, like... <clears throat> <laughs> Again, I'd never, I'd heard about it, and I'd never actually <laughs> seen it live, and it was just so, oh, it was great. After, after lunch, one of her coworkers is actually at the desk with her, and I realized that we are actually busted at this moment, because we're just staring at each other the whole time. I have really not looked at the stage in hours. And he looks at her, and looks at me, and looks back at her, and he's just like, oh. Because apparently, I didn't actually know this until later, she wasn't really even supposed to be at that table. She was supposed to be at the red table outside the ballroom. After the show, she hands me a pen that I'd given her earlier. She said, oh, this is the pen I borrowed. I'm like, no, that I gave you, got it back. I grab it, there's a paper around it, and I stop myself and put it in my pocket. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'll talk to you later. I go scurry out of the ballroom to the back hallway and I open up the little note. It says, hi, my name is Jennifer and I'd like to hang out with you later. Here's my contact information. I am so in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, it's so good. So we get into the texting back and forth before she's got to go do stuff. And almost immediately, 
she's like, you know, I don't even know if I really want to go out because right after I handed you that note, uh, I realized my period started. <laughs> I'm like, well, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it's not a big deal, honey, we'll be fine. <laughs> so she's got to schmooze and be important and do whatever it is that she does. And uh, we meet up at a bar after she's got to do her thing. She buys me vodka cranberry. We hang out there for a little while and talk about art, try to be, you know, not like I'm just here to bang this chick. <laughs> just try to be a little classy. I, I know about art. I talk about the street art and shit, make it sound like, you know, make it good, you know, <laughs> represent. <laughs> and I, you know, I casually mention, you know, we could still go out to booty. And this is the part where I have to actually explain that it's a dance club down the street, because she didn't know. And she said, we just, no, we'll just go back to your place, we'll hang out there, you can check out the art books and stuff. Heading back, buys me a bottle of booze so we don't run out. Get her to my house, on the bed. I actually pulled the book out, because I like to, you know, there's a point. <laughs> when, you're, when you're running game and everybody knows that you're playing the game, and it's like, yeah, we're, we're not going out to the club, but we, we all created this story to get us to this location. And, and, and when I was at the location, I kind of forgot what, what the real story was that I was there. Scoop her over, her shoe falls off, just start peeling her out of her... It's a very impressive thing, the jacket with a little ruffly blouse, is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta peel a woman out of that very delicately. <laughs> Throw down a towel. Also, just a little pro tip, having a stack of cum towels next to your bed at all times. Just do it. Throw a towel down, proceed to have a nice messy time. Ow! Yeah. And we played and played and played, passed out at some point, slept a couple hours, woke up the next morning, she's like, you know what, we could totally do whatever you want, honey. <laughs> we can go back to the hotel where I work and order room service and continue fucking there. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Free food and more sex, totally there. <laughs> Go down, order room service. It's not actually until the cart is at the door that I realize that I work there. <laughs> yep, sure do. I am not supposed to be there. I am not supposed to be naked. And it certainly should not look like a murder scene in here when I'm found. <laughs> So I hide in the bathroom. <laughs> Quietly behind the door. Don't make any sound. I can totally see the guy, and I know him. <laughs> hot breakfast is good. So we, we, he goes, hot breakfast. We got to take a shower together. We continued fucking until the moment she had to leave for her flight back to New York. And uh, that is some of the best of my experience of being butch.